one of the only way you can do that is to invest enough time of prayer. When was the last time you called upon the Lord and prayed without asking the Lord for a car, for a house, for a husband? One of the easiest ways to get things from God done is to forget about your issues. I realize that God may not always answer your prayer the way you want. And if you want it answered the way you want, you'll be frustrated. Because the way of the kingdom is selflessness. When God wants to do a thing for you, he will tell you pray for this lady. As you are praying for her, you will answer your prayer. That is why it looks as though ministers are more blessed. Do you know why? They are praying for people. They forget about the problem they pray for you. A minister, his wife will divorce him today. He will go and preach tomorrow. His son will die today. He will come to church and preach. You think he doesn't have to cry? Is that what you think? A preacher may, may be on the way. Going for a meeting, he will have an accident. He will leave the car, take another car and go and preach. He may never talk about the accident of the car. You think he doesn't have a problem? That's why God will always continue to bless him. Jesus Christ said, we shall ever lose himself for my sake. He will get everything men are looking for. He said, no one leave father, mother, house and go after me and does not get all of these things plus a thousand fold. I know you want the Lord to answer your prayer. But I assure you, the way you have been praying, Father, my need, Father, my this, Father, my dad, Father, my dad, forget about that prayer. Now it's time for you to be selfless in prayer. That your enemy, that woman you are wishing for her to die, pray for her. As you pray for her, the Lord will answer your prayer. Yes, you want admission. Forget about your admission. Say, Lord Jesus, I pray for grace, Lord. Let your glory and your power rest upon this church every day. As you are praying for the church, one day, the Lord will see you and say, okay, open the book of remembrance. What did this person need? A prophet came to a woman in times of famine, sir. She has the last meal to eat with her child to die. The prophet said, forget about your problem. According to the way the Lord does this thing, you actually live more and get more by giving. He said, give your last meal. That is dead to her. To her, that is Easter. Because she knows she's going to die. She so give your last meal. Give your last meal. As she fed the prophet. The Bible said. A miracle happened. That she could have no room to contain. Oil continued to flow. It continued to flow. It continued to flow. A woman was looking for a child. The Lord tell her no. Just prepare a place for the prophet to stay. Just because of that singular attitude, all our prayers of many years was answered. Hannah was praying for a child. God need a prophet. The day she said, "Give me a child, I will give you a prophet." Do you know what God did? He answered it fast. Hannah never had a son. It was God that had a prophet. You may never read where Samson stayed with Hannah. Samson stayed in the temple with Eli. He was in the temple all the time. That was where the Lord was calling upon him. Benina has many children. But we don't know any name of all those children that she has. The same way you can have 30 children, all of them will be drunkards and smokers and abalis. Some of them will be broke her arms. Some of them will be thieves. But somebody may have only one child that she keep it when she's 48. And that one child is enough to answer to the generation. man has brothers and sisters where are they God moved to a region looking for a man he can use but that man must be willing to die to himself that man must be willing to go to Easter he must go to a season of death 